What's up, everybody? This is Phil, Kentucky Baseball Car Collector. Here with some recent pickups. You know, uh, my boy Freddy got that MVP. Yeah, about time he got recognized. But, uh, yeah, now he's probably priced out of my price range on at least some of his earlier stuff and rarer things I've been wanting. Yeah, so his price has gone up. So, but anyway, I still picked up quite a bit of uh, stuff. You know, not just Freddy's. You know, I got... Got a couple of stacks here, a couple slabs, some throw-ins people gave me. And yeah, we'll start with this one here. Uh, been picking up some uh, Topps Gold player gold cards of uh, Hall of Famers. Um, I was trying to get like their last Topps cards. I mean, it, you know, there's only so many Hall of Famers who had the last top cards after uh, 2001 when they started doing the gold cards. So I've been picking up a few. Uh, here's a 2005 Roberto Alomar. He never played for the Rays, but uh, he was with them for spring training and decided to retire, I believe. I don't know the whole story. But uh, there's his. I actually forgot this guy played for the A's. He also played for the Padres after he left the Mets. I kind of remember the Padres, but here's uh, a 2008 Mike Piazza, probably the best offensive catcher of all time. You know, got the full stats back there. That's why I like those cards. <laughs> this card here, I just, this man doesn't, doesn't even look right. But uh, here's the Hall of Famer, John Smoltz. This is out of up, no, this is regular tops. He also played for Boston for a little bit. But Braves Hall of Famer John Smokes with the Cardinals. It just doesn't look right, does it? <laughs> Can't get over that one. Uh, here's a multiple gold glove catcher. Played for a bunch of teams, mainly with the Rangers. Got him a World Series title. Devon Rodriguez. Is that 2010 or that's 2011 tops? There's Von Pudge Rodriguez. Now this next one here, there's a set registry out there, you know, last Hall of Fame cards. And uh, they got this card here, this 2011 Vladimir Guerrero as their last Topps card with the Rangers. But uh, he uh, played for the Orioles the same year as last year. And here's his update card. So I don't know why they have this as, as the Texas Ranger one as the last card. Probably because, you know, they're... That's what was in the factory set. And uh got the same stats on the back. <laughs> but, you know, I think that's interesting how they got this as his last Topps card when obviously this one here was. But, oh, Vlad. Son won't even be half the player he, <laughs> he was, probably. Uh, here's a 2012. This is Jim Tomey. He's got like a... Uh, Another card that with the twins, it's like in the update set, but it's not a, it's like an all-star home run derby, some kind of highlight card. Here's the only unanimous Hall of Famer ever, 2014 Rivera Gold, last tops card. Uh, this next guy. He's not in the Hall of Fame yet, but he does have 3,000 hits. This is 2018 Beltre Gold Card. Don't have all the stats on the back of them, like a lot of the rest of them. But uh, This one here, it's not a last tops card. No, this is actually a third year Clayton Kershaw Gold. Uh, 2010, I believe. Yeah, uh, 2010. Future Hall of Famer there. Got a little idea of maybe going back and getting like all the Hall of Famer uh, gold cards. But, you know, that's just a little pipe dream <laughs> kind of project. But it'd be fun to start one, I think. Uh, here's a couple like throw in cards. Well, this ain't throw in. There's another Dansby Swanson gold rookie card. 2017. I got a few of these. Just got that one cheap. Uh, that guy there, he bought that one off of. Hell, he threw in this Swanson 
pink refractor out of this year's Chrome 2020. I got these other cards. I didn't buy them. They were throw-ins. But this is a Talent Pipeline card. Got a few good braids on it. <laughs> Riley Anderson and his other Contreras. We've all made the show by now. And the Cunha, 84. That 2019 insert, yeah. Austin Riley rookie had a 19 update. Like I said, these cards were all throw-ins. You know, Phillips Space, it's 2019 Bowman, Mojo, uh, Riley. You know, these got some good throw-in cards for a Braves fan. I don't even know why I get these stands out. I don't know when I ever use them. Here's a slab of a 2019 Matthew Beatty gold. Paid seven dollars for it. You know, you can't get graded for that cheap. That's a nine. You know, I'm sucking for gold rookies. I'm sucking for nines too. Now I think about it. <laughs> so there's this card here. Got it for a good deal, I think. I think some of them throwing cards could have came in this one. Uh, but this is a 2018 Tops Brian Anderson. He was a honorable mention on my top 25 ultra modern rookies. Braves killer, NL East killer. Good ball player. All right, now for the Freddy part of the program. <laughs> like I already said, uh, these cards here, you know, part of my Freddy Super Collection. I was at a. Uh, 1023 after this little run here i'll be at a thousand forty one but uh, here's the uh 2020 foil factory set card this one here is out of the hobby set see it's number 229 the one out of the uh retail sets are 264 <laughs> this here i can't believe i didn't have it i went and double checked but this here is just a base 2015 stadium glove i got a few of the parallels of it and <laughs> i didn't have the base of all things here's a uh, 2020 stadium club red foil these i think i've seen a few of them i don't even know where they are what they are from it's not numbered but that's an awesome patch in it but this is a what 2016 we got a big old patch in it yeah thick uh, i've seen cards like this but they're usually numbered so i'm counting that one because i didn't have it. i hope it's an authentic card here's a 2019 inception pink got a uh, like I'm covering up or number to 99. There it is down there above his name. These next two are 2020 triple threads. This is a gold one out of 99. It was thicker cards. And this is a black one out of 50. This is a 2019 Topps Lineage Diamond Anniversary Refract Silver Refractor. It's not numbered, but it is pretty. I didn't have this one. It's all centered, but it's not bad card for what I gave for it. You know, I bought a lot of these oddball ones, Freddy, and a lot from a few people. Here's a 2020 Topps Big League. A couple league leader cards we got Freddie on them. This is the batting average leader with Yelich and Scooter Net, and then Freddie was third that year. And then this is a Hits King or Stat King Hits leaders. You know, Freddie led the league in hits with Yelich was second, and my boy Mark Akis down there was third that year. Here you got a. <laughs> Family keeps peeking in on me and stuff. What? <laughs> this is a 2020 archives. 
some kind of gold out of 250. Looks like a 54 tops card. Freddy on there. This is the uh, 2020 Bowman Platinum. What, honey? <laughs> Freeman there didn't have that one. This is a top style cars, a red parallel. Five out of ten. Had a walk off homer back in September. Y'all probably remember that one. Braves fans out there. Yep, this is just as boring in here. Yep. <laughs> she, she, she thinks it's boring, fellas. <laughs> this is a 2020 top finest gold refractor. Good looking card. That's the Bowman's best out of 2016. It's a gold refractor out of 50. Never see it down there by his foot. This one here um, is a 2017 Gypsy Queen missing nameplate. His name's not on there. A little variation I didn't have. And then we got a 2017 Bowman, which is a green paper, number 99. And here is a 2012 Bowman. I think it's called like a Silver Ice. It's not numbered, but I did not have that one either. So that puts me at, like I said, 1,041 on my Tops and Bowman, you know, Freddy uh, collection. I don't, I don't have a whole lot of Panini, and I don't, like I said, I don't count them in my in my super collection. I have, you know, 50 or so. <laughs> I don't know if they're different ones or not. But anyway, uh, like I said, go Freddy on that MVP. PC guy finally getting some recognition. And that's always a good thing. Hope he doesn't get priced out of my price range, but I'll still find ways to enjoy the collecting. But anyway, guys, appreciate y'all watching. You know, uh, like, subscribe, you know, comment below. Tell your friends, all that kind of good stuff. And I will talk to y'all on the next one. All right, later, guys.